thousands of years ago, they were Apollo, Zeus, Ares. Now they are Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and the other heroes and villains of DC and Marvel Comics. Join us every week as we discuss the legendary stories, characters, concepts, and other parts of comics as we examine the modern pantheon of heroes. Let's get heroic. Welcome to Under Two Cates, the podcast for the comic book fan. Welcome to Under Two Capes. I'm Jared. And I'm Lad. And we are continuing our discussion of the Snyder Cut. So as Lad and I were just talking about before we recorded, we were talking about how, so basically the movie is pretty much the movie that Warner wanted Snyder to make as his next film. In other words, it was right. it's positive. It's, it's nowhere near as dark as BVS. No. Which is ridiculous. I'm like, then why did you change it? Well... You know. That's the mind-boggling thing, is trying to understand, now that we know what, what the Whedon cut came, what, what the non-canon cut came from, I'm just like, what? Why did you do this? Oh, man. It, it's it kind of like, yeah. I don't know. I guess it's just like, well, you know, we have this Avengers guy over here. Let's kind of make it an Avengers movie. Yeah, and by the way, uh, he only had one good Avengers movie. Two sucked. <laughs> that is true. Everyone admit. By the way, here's how you know you have demand and people like Snyder now. Look at Twitter right now. Yep. Yeah. How, how, for those what's, of you uh, that don't know, for those of you that don't know, have been living under a rock. So all day yesterday and today, people have been tweeting hashtag release uh, restore the Snyderverse, myself included. You can follow me at at. Um, at the account of Justice Lord one one four, I mm -hmm. thought that was pretty, pretty. That's a reference to 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 Justice League, lad. I hope you noticed yeah. that. Justice so, Lords. Yeah. So anyway, I took part in that, and we got to like a million tweets in a day. By the way, for reference, I believe the original release of Snyder Cut hashtag got to a million after two years. Mm -hmm. We did that in one seven hundred twentieth the time. Mm -hmm. in one day that and release the air cut which pretty much tells people it tells warner hey listen we want more of this universe and the thing is what what the movement has been saying is listen don't cancel any of the other new movies Bec uh, and i showed lad uh, the, the suicide squad trailer came out today and looks pr it looks pr pretty cool looks kind of uh, i'm not really so sure how we feel about it i have to wait until more more stuff comes out so i know exactly how to feel about it we know how the original uh, the original uh, Suicide Squad totally tricked us with advertising and the heathens music and tricked me to go see it. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's supposed to be like there's supposed to be more Joker in the air cut. But anyway, but it's like so that was tweeting a, a million times to the point where Snyder got involved. It's like so someone asked, uh, so so boss do you think we're having a little a, a, like an effect do you think the right people are seeing this and they and then snyder's like uh I, i'm not sure they could ignore this oh that's i didn't know he he commented on it ray F fisher cyborg and ray porter dark side got involved I, and i tweeted our lord dark side has spoken yep and i love all the memes and lad and i were talking about this like fine we'll use the old ways ready the hashtags yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That legit, that picture, that meme came out immediately after that article in Variety came out saying that they're, they're like going to move on. It was like, release the hashtags. <laughs> yep, ready the hashtags. Let's go. Yeah. So, Lad, uh, what do you think of all this? Uh, I mean, I think it, I think it definitely, I mean, hey, I was pretty impressed. I saw like on Twitter the, you know, on the sidebar, uh, you know, you know, restore the Snyderverse 1.1 millionth time, and then had the little comment saying, you know, fans of the such and such are, you know, asking Warner Brothers to restore the Jack Snyder's vision of whatever. And it's like this is like totally like mainstream popping up on Twitter, uh, trending like you know big big numbers. I was really, uh, I was impressed. I mean, I think, uh, 
I think it is a really good sign that, uh, you know, at least we're saying, you know, people are saying that they want this movie or, you know, sequels. And, you know, I mean, that's the best way to tell people like executives that you want demand for it is like, you know, just put it out there with everyone to kind of group, uh, group tweeting it out. I'm trying to find the, the current number of the, uh, of the hashtag, like how popular it is. Yeah. The Snyderverse trending. Well, let me see what it's at right now. Uh, I'm trying to get a, it beat out Endgame's r- record. And let me put this way. You have a movie that got more views than Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Did it get you already beat more than- Marvel. Did it beat Falcon and Winter Soldier out already? Yeah. You beat Marvel. When is the last time DC has done that? It's kind of tough to do. Particularly in the movie side of things. If yeah. anything, Warner should be approaching Snyder on their hands and knees going, we're so sorry we did this to you. Please, please, for the love of God, help us. Just please, please. Yeah, we are at 1.5 million. There Even you go. Snyder tweeted, did we beat Marvel yet? And everyone's like, yep. Oh, man. But it's like at this point, the Warner executives, the Warner shareholders can't be ignoring this right now. Yeah, I mean, that's like another thing also. It's not just the executives, but then like at a certain point, it becomes like the shareholders start to like, you know, you know, when they show up, when, you know, Warner Brothers executives show up to the meeting uh, and be like, all right, we're going to have, we're going to go with these type of movies now. And then like shareholders like, but we just saw 1.5 million people vocally say that they want more of these types of movies, these Snyder movies instead. Why aren't you doing them? Uh, exactly. Okay, I'm pulling out. <laughs> exactly. It's like, it was just unbelievable because it was like, yesterday it was like, every like five minutes, it was like another couple of thousand tweets. Yeah. Obviously with me, and Lad knows I had gotten off Twitter because of all the all the negativity. As soon as I heard this, I made the Justice Lord account and ju- and re- redid it. And it's like immediately, it's like they're in my timeline, and I'm like, good God. Because let's put it this way: you remember how controversial Snyder's DC decisions are, and now people are going back to his previous movies, going, this makes so much sense now. Yeah, I remember that at the time, Man of Steel was really controversial, and also uh, Batman versus Superman was also considered really controversial. People didn't like it as much at the time. I, I felt a bit sketchy about it, but I don't know. Now looking back at it, especially with like, uh, you know, the Snyder Cut coming out and everything else, uh, I actually feel like I enjoyed them. Probably enjoyed them a lot more. I don't know. Let me put it this way. So DC made some film, made some casting announcements also for their like Flash movie and all that stuff, the, uh, and they cast like uh, Doctor Fate. They recast Barry Allen's father because apparently the old guy could, couldn't show up for the Flash movie. But anyway, those like the that news was drowned out. Oh really? Whoever was managed, and even if you go on to all those announcements, the comment section is all restore the Snyderverse, restore the Snyderverse, <laughs> restore the Snyderverse. Man. I'm like, I, at I, what I, point do you decide, okay, the article, that was for April Fools. Yeah. Uh, you nice. gave the guy 70, over $70 million to reshoot, to redo a movie, actually to Unredo a movie, if you will. <laughs> Undo a movie. Let's be honest. It's an unredo. That's what it yeah. is. And here's the best part: you can make a four-hour movie and be and just throw it on HBO Max. You don't have to worry about cutting it down for movie theaters. Yeah, that's something that the whatever the DC executive did mention about how putting on HBO Max allowed Snyder to make it four hours long, which wouldn't really work for a theater. So that that was something she said. Uh, was I think Ann Porter or something like that said that like that was one positive side of things. Look this way. When you have people saying I've seen this movie seven times already <laughs> of a four hour movie and then there are people that you, I've you seen... call you call a doctor for them and then wait 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 wait, wait, wait <laughs> I'm not done yet. There are people that, that have said I've watched um seven times the first version and then seven more times the black and white version. 
<laughs> at what point do you start calling some doctors for their vision? At what point and everything? do you start calling and Sarnoff and going, hey, listen, you were wrong. Restore this. Okay, but her comment was before the movie came out or yeah, right, right after? It, 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 the article came out after, but I think the interview was done a week before. So that's why uh, I'm not okay. so much harping on her because it could because they had no idea that they had no idea it was going to get like right. this. I see. Okay, like, I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that comment was made. Uh, you know, or at least shortly thereafter, maybe yep. the movie came out. Well, let, well, let me ask you something. Did you expect the amount of positive reactions to a Zack Snyder Justice League movie? I mean, I'm honestly like, I guess maybe just no. I mean, I guess just people. I mean, because people didn't like BBS and Man of Steel as much, or they had problems with it, made the casual audience. But it seems like, you know, people have high praise for the Snyder Cut. I don't know, maybe just because people have been hyped up so much for it, because it didn't seem like it was going to exist ever. But people are really happy, and they actually want to see more of this style type of movies now. You yeah, know? that uh, didn't happen. That, that didn't exist when BBS came out. Even right, when the I mean, ultimate this- edition of BBS came out, people were still like, yeah, but I don't like this, 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 this. Now it's like, this guy's like a genius. Are- I don't like the P jar. <laughs> people are telling, yeah, the P jar thing was kind of stupid. I'll give you that. But there are <laughs> legit people saying make Snyder the DC Kevin Feige. That's kind of crazy because I mean, honestly, this movie could have come out, came out, and people, it still got like a 50% from the critics. Fans could have still been kind of upset by it. But he, like, no, I think fans would have been better. Happy. Fans would have been uh, better because people are watching it and seeing, oh, the whole arc makes sense now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In other words, wh- and you notice, if this had come out instead of the Whedon cut, guess what would happen? We would have already had part two, and we would already be like on like probably Batman by now. Mm-hmm. We would have had. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. I am excited about a lot of the, uh, of the different D- DC movies coming out because, uh, like, we have a Zatanna Matt movie. Reeves, Batman. Uh, 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 yeah, Matt Reeves Batman looks amazing. We have a they Zatanna said they, movie. They said they're just uh, finished filming that. Great, I can't wait. We have a Zatanna movie, and Lad knows I'm a big Z- um, <laughs> Zatanna fan. They mm-hmm. cast Dr. Fate. Pierce Brosnan's going to be Dr. Fate, and I'm like, I could see that. Oh, I, I'm not sure what he looks like. I have to check. Yeah, Flash looks pretty good. I'm excited for that. There's lots of good stuff to be excited for. I just want this as well. Give me this. Mm-hmm. Let me put this way. I was a Snyder guy since 300. I <laughs> knew that this guy could make good movies. Then, and then I was always a fan of his DC movies because I, I understood what he was doing. It's like, okay, you're showing how Superman developed into the character we got. Of course, he kills someone and that's the birth of his no killing rule. Yeah. Batman is like- Quickly uh, breaks I, when he kills Steppenwolf. <laughs> actually, no, it was Wonder Woman. He just punched him. Okay. I mean, but he was like beating, beating him up a lot. Beating the living- I was like, oh, good God. But it's- Wonder Woman has no problem killing. And, and, and like, <laughs> he's like, all right, I'm just going to cut this dude's head off as he's flying at me. But then uh, yeah, that Batman, was so that was so great. But uh, Batman, I understood because I knew what, what version of Batman he was going. That's the Dark Knight Returns Batman. That's why at the end of the movie, he's on the bat tank from Dark Knight Returns. I and see. then if you notice in front of the tank, th- there were a couple of guys tied up. Those were the guys th- th- that he fought in Dark Knight Returns. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's the mutant gang. I was like, oh my gosh. Just to see that tank, by the way, for the first time live action, that was pretty dope. Yeah, that is pretty sick. But it's like... But so, so let's see, what else can we say about this? Oh, uh, I don't think the air cut's going to get released for the Suicide Squad. I, I don't... Maybe they I, could. I feel like... What they could do is release it at the same time as the new one is coming out and just say it's like a... Uh, see, here's the thing. At this point, I, I, let me put it this way. I wouldn't put anything past HBO Max. Because let's... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because, wait, wait, wait. Let's remember one thing. What you just said about the air cut, Lad and I both said about the Snyder cut a year ago. Right. I and did, here we yeah, are. Just, anything is possible now. It's true. It is true. Anything's possible. I, I'm just... And I guess maybe I'm doubting too much, even though like I just saw the power of uh, the fan base. But I don't know. I feel like maybe the Suicide Squad demand is not as much as, say, like, you know, Justice League. And I feel like the movie, the Suicide Squad, I don't think it would be interesting, even if it was better. And they are having that well, new movie Well, it would have more out. Joker. 
I guess more Joker, but I mean, I feel like, you know, especially with the new movie coming out, they wouldn't want to, like, distract from, like, you know, the Suicide Squad now, so, I mean, it's definitely it's possible. I mean, I don't know possible. if there's much demand. I mean, if we had to choose between, like, another, you know, Snyder movie and, like, you know, an Ayer cut, I feel I'm like... going with Snyder. I'm going with Snyder. <laughs> <laughs> there is no... Yeah, if I have to choose between the two... I mean, I would lo- uh, like to, after seeing how much better Justice League got, I kind of want to see what happens with Suicide Squad. <laughs> Watch it be like I a completely mean, be- better movie and everyone's like, okay, Warner Brothers, you can never interfere with a movie ever again. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. But jeez. So anyway, I actually had a plan for this episode. It's, it's not just us ranting about how awesome the Snyder Cut is. Oh, so. Up? I figured we'd start off talking about our top five uh, most amazing scenes in the movie, and then we'll t- t- talk about the Snyderverse in general. So top oh, five, okay. Vlad. What were your uh, favorite parts in the Snyder Cut? Let's see. <laughs> or should uh, I say the canon cut of Justice League? Yeah, the canon cut of Justice League. Well, <laughs> number five probably has to be when uh alfred was backseat tea making that was the uh, best Woman. that's my five two that's my number five two uh, that has to be number five i mean that, that was and, so know, like, alfred that was that, so that, alfred that was really good yeah and then the, then the little like attachment scene where it was like you know you should make a you know make it in black for the like a batman that was great does it come in black so, you know n- nolan's an executive producer and that so i know that was a jab against him because that's a line from Batman Begins, where he first finds the Batmobile, it's supposed to be like a camo like vehicle for the military. And then Bruce Wayne turns to Lucius. Does it come in black? <laughs> yep. All right. So anyway, continue. What's number three? Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's the next one? Um, what was the like, next really? Uh, I mean, I probably had to put like I. For fair number four would be like the whole flash like final like time travel scene time tra- where that was unbelievable like, where they actually like defeat you know uh we're like you know they're just like it's you uni- it's united and they're like no and then poof, it just blows up you know yeah and then it's and then it's like oh batman wakes up from a dream like oh man that was a horrible dream and then it's just like <laughs> <laughs> but but then like you know flash actually did like you know that cool like time traveling and also like really fast uh running scene everything that was really cool. that was that's probably like a number Joel. four for me uh three oh man three three what is it man that's so tough to decide i know i mean so good yeah i mean maybe like so i think the amazonian fight scene section that was like a lot longer than this you mean like, in the, the beginning yeah yeah, yeah. That was really good. I think that could be number three. Show like him your fear. Fight. We have no fear. Yep. That was really good. Like that whole battle and then it continued with like the horses. And then like, that was like, a, I think that was like almost 15 minutes, honestly. That was really yeah. long. And they're um, establishing a badass uh, of Steppenwolf because he's like, he, he's um, throwing horses everywhere. And, and, and the lad goes, no horsey. No horsey, no. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that'd probably be number th- number three for me. Uh, two, what's a, what's two? I, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna get criticized for not putting the old uh, war scene in my top five, but I mean, like, I feel that like some great. of the modern stuff was like really good. That's like an honorable mention, but number two would probably be, ooh, ah, maybe uh, like the whole scene with like Cyborg trying to like deal with like his father's loss and stuff like that when his father mm-hmm. died trying to figure out what he's gonna do and then kind of yeah. like th- and then seeing him like make his decision in the whole unity thing i think that was probably like a number two for me i really like cyborg's arc can i t- in this take a guess at number one yeah <laughs> not Ooh, impressed not impressed that is my number one as well because that is just the greatest way to put in superman yeah oh my like, gosh the act the, the, just yeah. stops and it's like is that the best you can do yep that yeah i mean like the final you know like that final fight when Sup- the fight going from when superman shows up to you know Seth wolf is killed there 
that was probably that's definitely my number one starting mm -hmm. with not impressed like that was that was the hands down best you know best sentence best like two second clip in the movie was that that was so that good. is my favorite scene in in the entire dceu right there and that's up there with yeah. with wonder woman charging those machine gun nests that's up there with that <laughs> that that is it that is it right there oh man he's in the black suit he's yeah. like not he just uh, he frost breasts the axe and shatters it yeah that was that was really good he heat visions off steppenwolf's horn yeah, my guy. I actually felt. I actually. I, I thought Seth Wolf was cool. I actually. I thought he was. I thought. I kind of empathized with him. Like he was like. Yeah, you know, trying to exactly. get back to his. He didn't seem like. I don't know. For some reason, they almost kind of. I mean, I know he was killing quite a few people, but like he. He didn't seem like super like chaotic evil. Uh, in this, like he felt like you know he had was trying to like redeem himself or like dark side get back to apocalypse. Yeah, so I can get home. Yeah. All uh, right, so, yeah. so here's my five. Number five would probably be the Alfred T scene because that is just priceless. <laughs> that is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> number, let's see, number four. That's a tough one. Probably th that like history part. Mm -hmm, the history. Because that is just like the biggest, like it's a, like a Lord of the Rings style scene. Yeah, that was and pretty good. It's yeah. been, I saw a theory online, and this is actually a pretty interesting theory. I, I want to get your thought on this. So you know how he reveals the anti-life equation, right? In that scene? Yeah. And everyone's wondering, well, how did he forget where the anti-life equation is? Well, yeah, I was actually wondering that too. I was kind of What if it's on Themyscira and that's why Zeus hid the island? Ooh. That I, could be I hear really this good. online and I'm like, that is a mind blowing uh, theory right Dude, there. That's actually kind of, that's kind of sick. And then maybe like, mm, that, that's actually kind of cool. I, I like, I could see that. That, that, that explains it. That's how I yeah. forgot. It's gone. Mm -hmm. And then let's see, that's four. Three would probably be. My man. Uh, probably, <laughs> probably honestly. I think it, uh, the three is going to be the flash going back in time. Yeah. That's, that's From a fair. visual and a story standpoint, that was like amazing. You see everything being put back together. The ground is reforming as he runs. Yeah. The dialogue, your son was the best of the best. Yeah, I know. Two would probably be, uh, let's see. The uh, It would probably be the scene where, uh, where, um, Steppenwolf is talking to Dark Side about the anti-life equation, because it's that Dark Side. Cool. Yeah. Actually, no, no, no. Number two is ready the armada. We will use the old ways. Oh, you mean like that where you see Dark Side? Yeah. Like first off, off, first off, he me. has his arms crossed behind his back in his iconic pose. Yeah. He turns. You see the red, oh, the red eyes. And I'm like, oh, this is so, that's freaking, and you have Granny yeah. Goodness and Desaad right next to him. Yeah. All we need is the female Furies and it's complete. But I was like, oh, okay, mm -hmm. I, I can see what you, because that was the plan in part three. He was going to bring in more new gods. Yeah. I mean, they put Granny Goodness, which is like the leader of the Furies, right? Or no? Yeah. And if you notice, as they're walking away, Granny, D Desaad and Darkseid are all much taller than the other parademons. Hmm. Which uh, and the paradigm is about on average the size of a human, so something yeah. like that. Then number one, actually, I, I have two for number one because I can't pick between those two. Number mm -hmm. one is not impressed, <laughs> and number two is the nightmare scene. Oh man, how did I forget the nightmare scene? Actually, yeah. either one of those nightmare scenes because both of them are amazing. Yeah, but probably the one where we finally have an interaction between Batman and Joker, and then there's, yeah. then there's Deathstroke. Yeah, that Cyborg has good. a mini gun. Yeah, and the Flash costume was really sick. I actually that's the costume for BVS where he goes, She's the key. Yeah, that was really cool. Because we thought that scene finally makes sense because that's what they were doing in that scene. They were sending Barry back in time to get them yeah. protect Lois Lane at all costs, guys. Yeah. Now that's that's really, really sick. All right, so those are our five favorite scenes. So um, and I think the reason why I love the the not impressed scene 
is also because of the ba- uh, of these, like Vlad said, subsequent battle where all the league are like j- practically juggling dark side. Because it reminds me of, I just realized it, that scene in Secret Origin for, for, from the Justice League cartoon, the very first arc, where the league is all freed and they're all f- f- and, and they're battling all the White Martians. Yeah. And, and then B- Batman shows up and tells them, "Hey, expose them to sunlight. They disappear." And then and then they're all fighting. Oh right, yeah. Yeah, the Imperium. That was fantastic because at that point the movie really felt like a Justice League movie because you got everyone here except mm-hmm. maybe Manhunter, but that's besides the point. He shows up later. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, but geez, uh, I I did like so go, uh, go, going back to a general discussion of Snyderverse. I liked how. And Lad brought this up when we were watching the movie about how it links seamlessly to BVS and that the first scene is Superman dying from another perspective. Yes, that was really good. And show the screaming awakening. First off, we got an explanation about what the mother boxes are. It wasn't just Steppenwolf going, mother. Mother is (laughs) calling. Martha. Martha. (laughs) Maybe Steppenwolf's mother was Martha. I sent Lad a, a GIF or a GIF, however the hell you say it, of Leonidas from 300 going, This is Martha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's such a great, uh, that's just such a great line. But anyway, yeah, that was the, I mean, they did show Hegira, the, the new god who's within the mother box. That's why when like Cyborg started, started to separate them, you saw kind of like that kind of scary zombie looking yeah thing. that was scary i was wondering what's going on there that's that's steppenwolf's mother i see she's trapped in the that's what the mother thing was okay but instead of him just randomly saying it yeah i, I think it was i think it was okay that they didn't actually address what it was it was just supposed to be like something kind of creepy and kind of like wondered like what is this, you know, kind of weird. And it's, I think it's better without even like talking about like the whole mother oh, yeah. thing and all that, yeah. And, and it shows the boxes are intelligent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, I will say, tell me if you th- thought about this slide. This movie kind of felt l- like a straight up cyborg origin story, like legit a cyborg movie. Yeah, you know, you're not, you're not wrong about that. That uh, they really gave him a lot of screen time, uh, mm-hmm. even more than The Flash, honestly. Uh, more. Sc- yeah, and Snyder said the the Flash, I mean, the Cyborg is the heart of this movie. So I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty dope. But let's let me put it this way: I've never been that much of a fan of Cyborg. I am now. Yeah, you maybe yeah, actually Cyborg's, care about that character. Yeah, you're right. And Cyborg's got a lot of like uh, promotion. You know, I mean, it used to be kind of like the Teen Titans. You know, kind of like you know, B tier hero. You know, like the, yeah, exactly. But you know, with when uh, New Fifty Two started, and they had the Justice League, you he know the, that that was his first time on the actual Justice League. Yeah, and then they made him like really cool, and then now we see him like in the theaters. I know he's he's like you know Justice League level material now. Uh, Rip Robin and Starfire and Raven and Peace Boy. <laughs> Apparently, so J- Justice League Three, I think, and, and this was in Snyder's plans before they. They uh, undertake the, the operation to like undo everything and everything. They have one final like hurrah, last supper like scene, and apparently we were supposed to see in live action through flashbacks Joker killing Robin. Oh man! And guess who's gonna show up in Justice League Three? Who? Barbara Gordon Batgirl. Ooh. And I'm like. Just uh, and as soon as he says that, I'm like, please, Warner Brothers, just please come out with a statement saying we're gonna do part three on HBO Max. Just please do this. I want to yeah. see these characters because <laughs> it was gonna end. The last battle scene was going to be like the history lesson, except with the Justice League, Aquaman leading the all the Atlanteans, Wonder Woman leading all the Amazons, and the League, bro, yeah. being man. Yep. So it'd pretty much like be every single god shows up. <laughs> and you it's can bring crazy. in Shazam and have him show up there. I think that'd be cool. Right. By the way, under Snyder's plan, we were supposed to get a Green Lantern series. That would have been nice. I mean, I hope they do. I mean, 
I don't know. We'll see what happens w- 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 with that Green Lantern series. I do like how they're using Alan Scott, though. So at least they're kind of, even though he has nothing to do with the contemporary Greek Green Lanterns, he got his power from magic. Mm-hmm. But uh, so, lad, do you think, for, first off, how surreal is it that for the second time in a week, we're talking about that we've actually seen the Snyder Cut? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, my God. Crazy. I mean, that like, day, when Lad and I sat down on my couch to watch the movie, I was like, think about this for a second, bro. We're about to watch the Snyder Cut. I mean, it is pretty trippy. It's basically like, like you know, the hidden. It's like finding the holiday special on VCR somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like super secretive, like should, shouldn't exist, you know, and, and, it, and it came out to be real, you know? I mean, that's really trippy. <laughs> I know it's like it was way better. That's I don't not- care what Warner <laughs> Brothers says. This is the Canon Justice League. You vaguely cult- <laughs> mentioned it in in Aquaman, and you vaguely mentioned it. In Shaz- you basically vaguely mentioned it in the other movies to the point where I can just decide I don't want to have J- Justice League be canon. Right. Like this right. way, I'm the consumer, so what I say goes. So pretty right. much, nah. Justice League is not canon. That was like some, you know what that is? That was a, that was, a, so when Cyborg actually plugged into the Kryptonian ship, he actually had two nightmares. Number one was <laughs> Justice League. Uh, th- uh, uh, that's why for, for a second, you saw him, he was kind of blinking for a second there. He's like, uh, 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 and then he had the actual nightmare. That's why it took a second to get into the actual nightmare. That's funny. And that's actually why he said, oh no. <laughs> but anyway, so. So, lad, in light of the fact that that we have the Snyder Cut now, what do you think the odds are that that Warner decides we'll just allow him to make the last two movies? I don't know. Like, so that stuff gets pretty. I don't know if they already have plans for other stuff, but I mean, ah, uh, man, it. I mean, I guess you can't say it's impossible. I mean, I'll I definitely say that. I mean, you can now. You can't say it's impossible. I mean, you really can't say it's impossible. It's not completely out of the realm of possibilities. You know, I guess we'll just particularly, have to see. particularly if Warner Brothers sees, hey, we have something that's gotten this good of a public reaction. Right. Let me this way: if you want to see a reason why Warner should do this, go into Twitter. Mm-hmm. That should be all the motivation, Warner. Because let me put it this way: if they were to to play ball with the fans, they have free marketing. The fans will share it. Mm-hmm. A, a, the fans will share anything you put out there for it. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all you need. Yeah. And you know you're gonna make back this money in spades. Let me put it this way: with the Snyder Cut, you beat Marvel. That should that should be all the motivation you need. It's definitely possible, you know. And Actually, you, know, when it, you beat Marvel twice in and, tweets you know, once you, and Falcon. Once you do it, uh, once you, you know, release the second one and the third one, uh, you know, it ends, maybe has kind of like a little bit of a crisis, kind of like things get rebooted, and you can kind of go back to the normal, what, what the other movies you want to do, you know? Plus, yeah, we're not saying you have to link the other movies into these, just make them. Mm hmm. Just l- let Snyder do it so we can at least have, okay, so we have this five movie arc. At least we have this. And then yeah. just say, that's your connected universe. And the other ones are just kind of like n- uh, j- uh, just independent movies that sometimes intersect. Let me this way. You can make everyone happy very easily. Very, very easy. You sh- what, what if I don't want the Snyderverse to come out? Well, you're the minority, lad. You're pretty... <laughs> Look to Twitter and tell me if you're the majority. <laughs> That's just Lad being like. By the way, <laughs> no one. I want to tell Snyder you, verse. Lad. No one likes that scene in the Snyder Cut where Bruce and Diana's hands touch as they go for the mouse. No one likes that. I mean, no that's I, so cheesy. I think that they are obviously hinting at something between Batman and Wonder Woman. Let me put it this way: the best portrayal of that was in BVS where they meet at the party and he's like, well, I've known a few women like you. And she's like, I don't think you've ever known a woman like me, bro. Uh, yeah, I guess That was so. the best line of, uh, that was like Wonder Woman's best line in the movie besides, I've killed things from other worlds before. <laughs> when was that? Uh... <laughs> Let's see. Uh, have you heard of uh, Ares, mind you? Uh, yeah. But, oh, man. 
yeah, it's like it's it's a no brainer. You don't have to like to change any plans. We're not saying drop everything and go back to Snyder. But we're also not saying don't drop everything going to Snyder. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine either way because I'm getting more DC content. But to tell you the truth, I am, I've always loved what Snyder is doing. Lad, what's your overall opinion on the Snyderverse? I mean, it's it's a lot of fun, you know. I think it was it got. It, I'm pretty hyped. There's a lot of hype around it, you know. Uh, Particularly you now. Know, it's hard to get hype sometimes, you know. Sometimes uh, I feel like just the DCEU was suffering from a bit of kind of like slog and kind of like, you know, nothing really interesting happening. But now I feel like there's hype again. Well, here's the thing. I was reading an article the other day that was saying that when they changed the, the Justice League to, to the Whedon cut, they lost all their chances of competing at Marvel. Mm-hmm. Let, let me put it this way. This is pretty much, uh, if this is the reaction, let me put it this way. If they had released this movie in 2017 and um and uh, the, the reception had been like as good if not if not half as good as what we're getting now guess what we would have had these movies already because guess what yeah. dc really warner really should be be, be th- um thinking of capitalizing on this because guess why as far as we know marvel has no plan for the mcu in phase four i'd like to question that remark but All right. well let me put it this way there's not that much hype around the mcu anymore i'd like to question that remark okay but the point is when have you ever seen this from marvel on twitter i think mean, actually you did when endgame came out and we beat them in a day in two days two uh, days i i actually haven't seen those uh, seen uh about that you, you mentioned way. that earlier, yeah. Endgame had like 1.4 million tweets. Snyder has 1.5. Yeah. So I'm like, if you want, if you say you want to be able to compete with Marvel, this is the way. Let the yeah. Mandalorian said, this is the way. Yep. The fans That's have right. tweeted over a million. Yeah. The fan, uh, uh, he, a lot of articles are coming out, bro. The fans know what they want, and it's more Snyderverse. Because guess what? the shareholders are going to see all these articles. Yeah. I mean, you're getting free publicity. Literally you know? free publicity. Let me put it this way. You could just drop stuff on Twitter and guess what will happen? The fans will spread it. Yeah. Okay. So, I'd like, I need to, I need to uh, give Marvel their credit since sometimes they don't get the credit they deserve. Avengers Endgame has 50 million tweets since, uh, yeah, Marvel no, no, no. Yeah, has. What we mean is that, like, opening day or something okay. like that. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Yeah, obviously, it's going to take a long time for that to pass. Yeah. It would be hilarious if I woke up the next day and it's at, like, 60 million. You're like, what the hell yeah. just happened? All right, well, anyway, so we've... We've spent a fair amount of time, part of half this episode, ranting about the Snyderverse. Let's start t- talking about like where we see, where we would like to see the universe go. Let's assume for a minute that that Warner is going to green light this. Yeah. By the way, how great would it be if the Snyder Cut restores everything? That would be like the greatest comeback of all time in movie history. Yeah. But so let's think. What are some interesting storylines that they uh, well, well, let me put it this way. This was also um, basically prequel to the Ben Affleck Batman movie because that's where you have Deathstroke on the ship and uh, Lex Luthor is going, his name is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> yeah. So let me look up because Justice League 2 was supposed to have the Legion of Doom. Yeah, check that out. I'm, I'm actually just looking at, I'm actually looking at the Suicide Squad real quick a second. Mm-hmm. Some people are saying that, that, that they should do Justice League 2 and 3 but make them animated sequels. And I'm like, no, I want live action. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I'm trying to find the Legion of Doom makeup. Let's see. The That actually uh, would be a great holiday, a great Halloween costume, like group costume, like Legion of Doom. But <laughs> yeah, that'd be the, great. From the, from the 60s, though. All right, so it's Black Manta, 
Dr. Poison, Captain Cold, Lex Luthor, the Riddler, and uh, yeah, so Dr. Here's the thing with the Dr. Poison thing, it's got to be like a descendant of hers, right? Because it's like a hundred years after Wonder Woman. Yeah, they'll probably just do something like that, right? Yeah, and apparently this is how Darkseid gets the anti-life equation because Lex Luthor finds it for him. I see, Which, I see. That could be an explanation for the scene we saw in the, in the deleted scene of BVS with Lex talking to Steppenwolf. He could have said, but wait, Steppenwolf didn't know the anti-life equation was on Earth at the time. Hmm, mm -hmm. interesting. But okay, so... It gets heat vision to the death by everyone. Should. So apparently, and then in Justice League 2, also when Superman turns evil, um, okay, hang on, I have something for you. So, uh, so, so what happens is that um, Darkseid comes to Earth and searches the anti-life equation. Ocean Master and Black Manta team up to kill Aquaman in Atlantis, while D Dr. Poison succeeds in killing Wonder Woman and Themyscira. So they're kind of changing what happened in... Uh, in the Snyder Cut, like, nightmare scenes. Yeah. But, uh, so, meanwhile, Ca Captain Cole attacks the Flash in Central City. Uh, Cyborg attempts to help his fellow hero, but gets ripped in half. L Lex Luthor himself gets heat v vision to death by a brainwashed Superman. So Superman kills Lex Luthor. Oh, well, wait, really? Yeah. And then we have the timelines, uh, and, then we, and then we start the nightmare timeline, which I think... So uh, basically what I think, I don't think the entire of JL2 was gonna be in the nightmare scene. I think like most of it was gonna be in the nightmare scene. Yeah, it's something like that, right? Yeah, so, um, let's see. Apparently Lad has his own theme song in the background. Yeah, there's some background noise we're trying to take care of. Yeah, time traveling behind the so uh, and apparently Superman and Lois's kid was going to grow up to be the new Batman because remember Bruce Wayne dies. I think I'm cutting it off. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So I don't know about you, but that, but that sounds dope. Mm hmm Jeez. So, lad... Which one of those would you be the most excited for? A movie mostly in the nightmare sequence or like a final endgame style battle with all the DC characters? Because that's that looks like what Avenge what, what Justice League 3 was gonna be. Sorry, I'm cutting out. It's okay. Uh, let's see. Personally, I would be more excited for like a final grand battle against like all the bad guys. I think that'd be really cool. Lad, you there? Oh, anyway, lad, while Lad returns. So, yeah, because I feel like it'd be really cool to have like all of the, well, we're wondering if Wonder Woman's dead and Aquaman's dead, who's leading the Atlanteans and the Amazons? There's more we have to do research into this. We have to, to get to, uh, down to the facts and pull Lois Lane. We have to inv investigate the hell out of this. Let's see. Uh, so, so once again, follow me on Twitter at Justice Lord One One Four. That's Capital Justice, Capital Lord One One Four, where I post like or release the, the uh, restore the Snyder Cut stuff or release the AR Cut. We will be definitely doing a lot with that movement. And then follow us on YouTube at Comics League Network, where we talk about where we upload all these video shows. Lad, you back yet? Yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. There we go. But yeah, so which of those like potential like movie things were you the most, uh, uh, are you the most hyped about? That's a tough question. <laughs> uh... Final end game ba style battle or like a nightmare movie? The nightmare movie is kind of trippy. I think that, I think that would be pretty hyped to get something like that. Yeah, exactly. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah, because uh, I, I, this way, 
that was like one of my favorite parts of BVS because it's like all of a sudden it's like out of nowhere, Bruce Wayne is like decrypting a file and then it's like all of a sudden we're in this post-apocalyptic earth with an Omega symbol on the ground. My God, jeez. Rest in the weeding cup, was it? There was no nightmare of any kind in the weeding cut. Mm. Which I'm thinking, which I get it. At the time, it may not have seemed very popular. But now, geez. Yep. No, it, it definitely seems much better now. Yeah, legit. Now with uh, 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 I really think that now seeing the hype and everything, Warner really can't like say we're done with Snyder at this point. We are selling DC to Marvel now. <laughs> God, can you imagine? And Disney. There is news that uh, that the creator of the Walking Dead comics may be buying DC the, the DC Comics publishing rights. Kind of interesting. Which okay, that'd be cool because the, then the publishing part would not be dictated by by the corporate by corporate because Warner has basically uh, let me just say Warner and Disney both don't seem very interested in comics publish uh, uh, publishing. They're more interested in the movies. Marvel's been like that for a little bit as well. I mean, all yeah. I guess they're all kind of looking the way to capitalize. Eh? Yeah, I know. It's, uh, it definitely d does seem a little bit like I agree with you, lad. That, that the Marvel quality of comics has kind of de declined. I mean, we had like T Children of the Atom came out, which is basically Teenage X Men, which is terrible. Wait, say that again. So they came out with this comic called Children of the Atom. It's basically the X Men sidekicks, but it's terrible. Oh man! From what I've seen, it's terrible. Let me put it this way. It was, um, we're lucky, by the way, that that New Warriors was canceled. The new Woke Warriors thing. Oh, the TV show or movie? No, or the that? internet gas thing. Oh, yeah. That's... Yeah. Hey. Our friend Tyler and uh, um, a long time listener of the show will remember Tyler. Does he? Thought I was making it up when I told him about the basic premise of that comic. He was like, there's no way they would do internet gas. Because that I understand it's a comic book, and a lot of these origins are fantastical, like getting hit by lightning, but internet gas. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's that's a bit trippy. Yeah, it got downvoted even by the by the more social ju justice leaning fans because they felt they're being pandered to. Mm-hmm. I'm like, that's all any of this is, but I see what you're saying. But th this got released and it is, yeah, it's still not good because it's like, for, first off, it's Super SJW, which we've m mentioned about how much we're not big fans of that, but it's just not well written. Yeah. But anyway, going off the Marvel rant for, for a second, because fans know I can go off on Marvel for a long time. But anyway, I, I, the I, point is, uh, I'm sorry, go ahead, lad. Yeah, no, I mean, the point is that, like, uh, we just, we just want to see more of this. This stuff is interesting that Snyder has brought to the table. It, it looks pretty cool. And right now, I don't see anything really cool from DC. Well, I mean, if they start hyping up some projects, but, like, I, I'd really like to see this. Let me put it this way. The one complaint I hear a lot about, about from comics fans is, well, it's the same thing over and over again. We want something new. Uh, yeah, here's Snyder. Yeah. Guys, he's doing something new. Go check it out. No, wait. There's a new episode of Falcon Winter Soldier. Actually. Let's just go watch that instead. Mm -hmm. you know, I by just the way, looked at this. We did enjoy Fa Falcon and Winter Soldier. I just want to put that out there. I Yeah, I actually, I, I really liked it. I like going back to them. Uh, I, I still was, haven't I seen was, episode two. I got to see episode two. I, I was looking at the, the Suicide Squad here, mm -hmm. and... I thought a couple of these villains were kind of cool. A lot of them are like Batman, Flash, you know, like lots of different random villains like Polka Dot Man and other things. I thought it was kind of cool that they have Thinker here, uh, Clifford DeVoe, mm -hmm. since he was a Flash villain season four. Really? Uh, on CW. Yeah, he was the main villain 
he was the first non speedster villain and really i know uh, yeah he was it was kind of controversial pick for most people uh i think people didn't really like season four as much but thought it was kind of cool uh what he was I'm trying so tr- to do I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that the Flash had a non-speedster villain in that show. Yeah. By the way, yeah. I will say this. I recently saw this on YouTube. The one cool thing to come out of Supergirl is her like is her and is her suit that 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 looks like the Iron Man suit from uh from Endgame how it comes on and it's like a nanotech. Oh yeah. That was pretty cool. I I will give the CW that. By the way, Superman and Lois still good. Is it? Oh yes, man! Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know if it was still cons- if it was uh, people still like that as much. Oh, it's so great! But uh, so let's see what else. Um, uh, oh, I, that was kind of interesting. It's like they have they have also King Shark, which is you know I guess you probably everyone knows that, but I mean he was also on Flash, and that's kind of. I wonder if he's gonna say. I wonder if if they're gonna pull a Groot and DCAU and have him go. King Shark is a shark. Yeah, King Shark is strong as there is. That's all he said for pretty much most of Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. King Shark is a shark. (laughs) That's kind of funny. It's played by, by the way, Sylvester Stallone. All right. Mm-hmm. He's King Shark. Oh man, I didn't even know that. That's kind of Which, trippy. I like that. I, I like how they kept like at least. Well, you know they're gonna keep Harley Quinn, but I like how how, how they kept the same Rick Flag guy. I like him as Rick Flag. Yeah, that's kind of. And they also, I guess, uh, you know, Boomerang stood out a lot. I guess they. Is it the same actor though? Yeah, I think it's actor. Jai Courtney. Yeah, it's Jai Courtney. Jai Courtney. That's kind of funny that he's still in it. Like. <laughs> I guess he was funny enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I felt that was... He, he was easily w- 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 one of the most humorous parts of the movie, though. Yeah. Yeah, they also have, uh, you know, obviously John Cena in here, which is kind of funny. The peacemaker. Um, he, he's going to have his own uh, series, which I'm like, yeah. you authorized the Peacemaker series, but it's all of a sudden a big deal that we want the Snyder Cut. I mean, the, 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 if we, already, we already got the Snyder Cut. That we want the Snyderverse. Come on. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was kind of funny that we're getting like, yeah, we're getting that. Green, uh, I, I will say this, the Green Lantern series I am very excited for. hmm Particularly if they're bringing in Jessica Cruz and Jon Stewart and Guy mm-hmm. freaking Gardner. Yeah. That's the Green Lantern Holy Trinity right there. hmm Yeah, I mean, that pretty much, that's pretty much everything then, eh? That's all. That's all the really good. I know I'm gonna take you for that because there are some Kyle Rayner fans, and some um, and some uh, Hal Jordan fans. But you can't go wrong with Hal Stewart and Jay Cruz. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's really. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead, lad. No, no, I was, I was disagreeing. But yeah, so. And then uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else we could uh, bring up on this. But uh, so let's see. I do want to hype up the fans because in the summertime we will be doing a lot with our with our YouTube channel, uh, like filming skits and stuff. Lad, I have some funny stuff planned. Yes, yes, we have some cool, cool, fun stuff. We need that. We actually need to think about that a bit more. Yeah, most of it involving Lad's hot takes. Yes, exactly. Hot take that. But uh, so let's see, what else can we eat? Well, well, so let's see. So I put the uh, the odds that they authorize the other two movies in light of everything that's happened, probably at like 80 to 90%. Yeah, I think, I think it's definitely more possible now with people saying they want it, you know? Particularly with people saying it to this extent. It's not just like some random people tweeting. It's like a million in a day. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm trying to see if I can check what the numbers are right now so I can give you all a quick status check. Uh, Let's see. Let me see. I'm pulling this up. 
You know, you know who's playing the thinker? Who? It's uh, I don't. You, you might not know who it is, but it's uh, Peter Capaldi, and he actually was one of the actors to play Doctor Who. You know, which is a pretty big sci-fi. Oh, okay. Uh, I know who show. you're talking about. I know who you're talking yeah. about. The the more recent older dude. You know, crazy crazy hair. Um, mm-hmm. which I actually kind of liked him as a doctor, but I think it's kind of funny that they have like all these like. I mean, basically, the Suicide Squad is like the Expendables. <laughs> That's what it is, really. It was kind of funny is that in the Suicide Squad comic, it's a tradition where one character is going to die on the mission. Mm-hmm. One character will die, except for Harley Quinn, Deadshot, and Boomerang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Um... I'm trying to check how many uh, tweets came out. Well, so so far it's 1.3. Not bad, I'll take. And then I love this. There's the the Doc Ock gif that says it's self-sustaining now. It's too late. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So yeah, we think it's more than likely that that we'll get more of the Snyderverse. It's probably, I'd say just as, if not maybe a little more likely that we'll get, uh, that we'll also get the IER cut just because of how popular these director cuts are. And plus Warner can just drop that on HBO Max. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if they have time to, um, to, fi- to finish it uh, before the Suicide Squad 2 comes out, but they can always j- just put it on there at the same time to hype people up. Yeah. The point is, it's possible, and we want more of this. Right. Clearly, we want more of this. No, I mean, definitely, people. That's what people want. Let's, and let's like, get it. Way, people are. Guess who's losing views? I think we should talk about this real quick. Uh, Disney Plus. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Actually, you know what? Speaking of Disney Plus. Let's put a little Marvel in this episode, Lad, and we might as well ju- ju- just go ahead and talk about Falcon Winter Soldier. Well, uh, so, oh, may, well, maybe we should do like, maybe we should save it and do like two episodes at a time. That way we can kind of like have its own discussion. That's a better idea. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that one. See, this is why I have the, you here. It has, there's only six episodes, so we can do like three episodes covering it, you know, two, two, That's two. That's a better idea. That. That's a way better idea. Okay, so yeah. we're going to do that. So by next week, we'll have a Falcon Winter Soldier episode in addition to Snyder because for the next couple of weeks, it's going to be all Snyder stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. let's yes. see. Now, Lad, well, let me ask you this. Which character do you want to see introduced into the Snyderverse? Uh, Actually, uh, okay. how, how about this? Your top five characters that you think would, would do really well in the Snyderverse. Top ten clickbaitiest five. characters. <laughs> Top five. Let's see. I want Flashpoint Batman. Flashpoint Batman is definitely a really solid choice. Oh, man. Who do I want? Can you imagine the Batman who laughs shows up and we're like, oh, good God. Yeah. Uh, Man, I really want, like, it'd be super awesome to see, like, uh, the reverse Flash. That would be cool. I'm on with that one. And honestly, I I mean, like, they, they definitely would hire a different actor, but. They could totally just have it be, you know, Tom Cavanaugh. I was about to say, say I'm this. not sure I want any other actor besides Tom Cavanaugh because he he's freaking so nailed it. good as the him reverse Flash. and the guy in Legends of Tomorrow who plays the Reverse Flash look like his actual face. Yeah. I like both of those actors. If they yeah, pick either he, one of those guys, totally fine with it. And they could explain it because really they exist in the same multiverse. Yeah, they could definitely. I mean, and Reverse Flash would be someone that. You know, you could totally just take another, you know, he would be someone messing around with time that he can, like, you know, end up with, uh, you know, this Barry. But, I mean, they probably would just hire a different actor. But just seeing a reverse Flash would be so sick uh, yeah, me to go against Barry, you know. I, I like speedster villains. <laughs> Particularly a Barry who's not as experienced as, like, the traditional Barry Allen. Mm-hmm. That'd be kind of cool how he deal, deals with someone that has his own powers because we all saw how he dealt with Superman's speed. Yeah. Which was couldn't. great. 
Yeah. I am so happy the running and then the mean mugs a side glance that Superman gave Barry. I'm so glad that was a Snyder thing. Yeah, that was really basically was all terrifying. the stuff I loved, all the stuff I loved uh, from the Whedon cut. Guess what? There were Snyder things. Yep. Like, what are your superpowers again? I'm rich. I'm rich. And then finally, this was the one thing that Lod and I were like, man, I really hope that this is a Snyder thing. My man. My man. All right. We were all like, oh, yes, please. Lad and I were both like, thank God. Yeah, that was that was definitely reassuring to see that there. Personally, I want to see Brainiac. That's a really good pick. Maybe Brainiac or maybe the, no, Anti-Monitor. Yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe for like Man of Steel 2, Brainiac or something, you know? Yeah, that'd be great. I think I'd be in favor of that. Maybe Parasite. Mm-hmm. What about you, Lad? Who's your next pick? Boy. Uh, next pick, next pick. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll refrain myself. Uh, <laughs> the Wonder Twins deserve to be. Oh, getting God. Like, but aside from the Wonder Twins, of course, uh, who have been wrongly uh, been ungiven. Teen Titans would be really cool. It's like, That'd uh, be dope. Live action. What they could uh, just do is just take the Titan show and just ro- roll it into this universe. Because guess what? It's just as dark as a, it's basically a Snyder show. I kind I feel like I kind of almost want like a Teen Titans movie to be a lot more lighthearted and fun as opposed to like I more agree of the, with you like, though. Animated. But he, he, here's the thing: these were the actual Titans, like the adult like Teen Titan yeah. characters. So that's understandable yeah. why this would be darker. But yeah, I do want right. a more light one because I think that'd be really fun. Yeah, the show is definitely doing its own thing, Titans, and that's that's okay. That's good. Uh, I like that what they're doing there. But for like, if you and I still have to movie, watch that show. Lad yeah. hasn't watched Titans. We will watch that. We have a lot of stuff mm-hmm. to watch in the summer. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, I think I think something more in the line with like TV show. I think a lot of people have fond memories of that. Something a little more lighthearted, kind of like how Shazam yeah. was still kind of dramatic, oh, yeah. but it was fun. If you did that with the Teen Titans. Uh, I think that would be, I think people would really enjoy that. I know who I want. I want Hawkman and or Hawk Girl. Yeah. Put them on the Justice League with Jon Stewart Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter and let's go. (laughs) Yeah. Once you give me that, I will be a loyal customer for years and years and years. Cause, and then have like a Junkie XL version of the original theme. Yeah, like from the opening, put that on there, and you will have like nerd heads exploding. <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. Let's see who who else do I want? I want to see more uh, of the Greek gods because so far we only we saw really the three from Ju- for, from Justice League because Ares was in Wonder Woman. Right. Yeah. Like maybe Athena. Maybe Hades. That'd be pretty cool. Very kind of sick, yeah. Oh, you know, I want Grid. (laughs) Grid. Grid. So Grid is a subroutine in Cyborg that grew sentient and became like the Earth 3 evil version of Cyborg. Oh, that's kind of... He's he's the crime syndicate Cyborg. That's cool. I like that. And that would be cool if that's the villain in a Cyborg movie. But I definitely want a Cyborg movie now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Let me see. What other characters have I haven't I seen that I really want? Because I mean, they already gave me Dark Side and Deathstroke. I really can't complain yeah. here. Another top pick stuff. In the first, practically the first movie. By the way, remember in BVS that Russian guy who takes Martha Wayne captive? You know who that is? That's KG Beast. Uh, I thought that was Matthew McConaughey. No, <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is Southern, not Russian. But that's KG Beast. Oh, he's another. I, I must be thinking. I must be thinking of someone else. Yeah. I, I was thinking. I was thinking of a different guy then. Let me see. Oh, can you imagine Mogo, the the Green Lantern planet? Oh, yeah. Apocalypse shows up on Earth, expecting to like wipe out humanity. All of a sudden, a big planet comes out of warp, and it's like, what have you got? Yeah. Actually, that, that's another one. Any human Green Lantern. What about the monkey dude? No respect. Yeah, Ver was pretty good. I liked him, but I mean, we didn't get that much of him. 
Justice for Murr, or whatever his name is. <laughs> Justice for Murr. Uh, let's see, who else? Who else do we really want to see? Who else do we really want to see for the uh, Snyderverse? I'm trying to see. Oh, Hush. Hush could be kind of cool. And, and, and they do like a Ben Affleck style Batman Hush. I think that'd be really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of who else would be pretty cool to throw in your. I mean, Starro was in the Suicide Squad trailer, so we're going to see Starro. That's kind of interesting because he is like the whole alien invasion thing or. Yeah. He was the first Justice League like bad guy. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. He was in the first appearance of the Justice League. It's the cover of like them all fighting a giant starfish. Yeah, uh, I remember that from Batman. Oh, Brandon I got Lewis it. Had an arc with them. Here's a character that I think Snyder can do really well. Ra's al Ghul. That'd be very cool. Particularly with this Batman. I think it will be a really cool to see like a League of Shadows movie. And we just hire Lee Messon and we got a movie. Honestly, yeah, there's no one else. Not even the guy from the CW can really top, uh, top me. I mean, the guy from the CW was good. I'll give him that. But I'm like, you can't beat Liam Neeson as, as Ra's al Ghul, man. You, it's not, you, you're not even in the same ballpark as Liam Neeson as Ra's al Ghul. How about any one of the Titans characters? Exactly. Exactly. Like you said, I wanted that girl to be Donna Troy. That, uh, th that basically Wonder Woman is like, can I be like you one day? You can be whatever you want to be. Yeah. That works for her. Yeah. In fact, her yep. origin, the classic origin for Donna Troy is she's in a fire. Wonder Woman saves her and brings her to Themyscira where she's trained. Really? Yeah. Oh. That was her origin. I mean, that works then. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you literally have that. Yep. Well, no, right. I, Side note, isn't it weird how in DC everyone's family dies apparently? Yeah. Why is it no one would just like, you know, a normal happy life? Mm -hmm. Here's an interesting idea. Live action Young Justice. That'd be kind of cool. That is like one of the best DC shows like of all time. It's at the level of Justice League, dude. Because it basically is a Justice League show because the League is like pretty prominent characters. Yeah. And it, I don't think it's ever really had a bad season. Because I've been, I've been watching ever since like, well, I see... I watched it when it was on um, Netflix and it was already canceled. And then mm -hmm. immediately D D D DCU announces, we're bringing back Young Justice. And I'm like, oh, hell yes. Yeah, pulling up Clone Wars. Here's a, here's a good one, which they're making into a live action movie. I just don't know if it's, I mean, in the Snyderverse, uh, Static Shock. That'd be, that's really cool. I like, I like that. Because that was a great show I used to watch too. That was, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was really good. Oh, I got it. Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Mr. Freeze would be fun. Nora. <laughs> Why did you say that name? <laughs> Why did you say that name? No, I got it. John Constantine. Oh, man, that'd be so... I'd love that. And ha please, for the love of God, have the CW guy play him. He plays him in everything else. Yeah, he basically owns the character. I mean, he is Constantine. I cannot hear anyone else be Constantine. I mean, Keanu Reeves play Co plays Constantine. I'm like, no, dude. No, no. I love you, Keanu, but no. Yeah. I mean, that would just basically be John Wick if he was Constantine. I know. He's got, like, magic guns, and he's like, huh, huh, huh. Yeah. I mean, so great. I'm trying to see what, what other... What who would be like a really big character? Well, obviously Jay Cruz, but we're gonna have a Green Lantern series. So mm -hmm. let me see. Oh, Trigon. Trigon. Like in the DC, uh, uh, not in the Titans. He was good in Titans. I liked him in Titans for the uh, for for the episode and a half he was in there, but. <laughs> It's like, here's the way it works, lad. So they bring him in like at the, uh, at the second to last episode. And then the, the, the next episode is the season finale. He's in there for like half the episode. Then immediately goes into Deathstroke. <laughs> I'm like, huh. what the heck, man? Oh, well. But uh, so let's see what else. Cat, uh, Catwoman. Catwoman. But we are going to get the, the Matt Reeves Batman with Catwoman. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. 
I am so excited for the Matt Reeves movie. Oh man, that looks so good. Yeah. That's that gonna, be, so gonna be good. really good. Oh, Power Girl. Well, we are gonna have Supergirl, so I'm just astounded how many characters they're putting in that flash movie. Like major yeah. characters. Yeah. That's more than the Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah, they are jam-packing it. Let's see. We already have Deathstroke. Wouldn't it be great if we did a Teen Titans movie and Deathstroke is the villain like Joe Ma uh, Manganello Deathstroke? Mm -hmm. By the way, he was good. Uh, he yeah. He's definitely believable as Slade. Yeah, he didn't get too many fight scenes, but he was still really good. Just because Slade has a certain intensity that uh, you, that's really hard to master. I mean, so far, I haven't really seen a bad depiction of him. I wasn't a big fan of the CW version of him. Huh. Even though, let me put this way, I mean, it wasn't horrible whatsoever. Compared to, let me put it this way, before when I was watching Arrow season two, there was no Joe Manganiello De Deathstroke to compete against. So it's really like that was the best. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I guess he was pretty good. By the way, uh, I, I'm going to amend a previous assertion I made in the, in the series. Arrow is the one show where the first two seasons were good. It wasn't just season one and then it mm -hmm. declined. It was season one and two and then it declined. Because remember, season two, they brought in Sarah Lance, which I thought they were going to make her Black Canary. But apparently White Canary is a character. It's just it's super obscure. Really? I'm like, oh, come on. It's not, I don't think it's even Sarah Lance, though. I, I have to look, look that up before I embarrass myself. But anyway. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's funny. But I'm like, this is weird. Yeah. And she keeps dying, and they bring her back constantly. That's her thing now. She dies and comes back to life. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's what I want for Zack Snyder to do. A, since he does a lot of zombie movies, deceased. Can you imagine yeah. a Zack Snyder deceased movie? Dude, that could be kind of insane. Oh, man. Written by Tom Taylor. That's, that, that's all I want. Oh, Batman Ninja. That'd be a dope movie. Yeah. Let's see. What else would be a really good... Red Hood. Red freaking Hood. That is Ooh. a character that Snyder is born to play. Yeah. I mean, I, not play, portray. Let's see, what else? Well, who else would be a good one? Maybe the crime sy um, syndicate. Can you imagine if uh, Snyder said, I'm going to do an Earth 3 crime syndicate movie? I mean, definitely. Oh, Kingdom Come movie. That'd be dope. Mm-hmm. We already basically had Throne of Atlantis. That was the Aquaman movie. It was pretty much what that was. Uh, right. Let's see. Uh, Apocalypse War. Well, if Warner Brothers get, gets their act together, we'll have that. It's called Justice League Part 3. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically. That is. That's pretty much yeah. what that is. Yeah. They can't even have it with War where the Flash goes back in time and, and uh, reboots everything, and then that leads into their universe. Right. This is why I don't can't stand about Warner Brothers. They're working with a universe that is perpetual, that is based upon reboots. Mm -hmm. They do it every five years. Uh. Ugh! It's astounding. Okay, so. We already did Superman Doomsday. That was Batman v Superman, basically. That was like a lot packed in that movie. Yeah. Uh, Red Sun would be a pretty interesting movie for uh, for, for a DC EU. Yeah, that, that I mean that could be good. Let's see. So we are we already mentioned Brainiac invading because we all want that. Maybe they can do a Catwoman movie that isn't trash. Mm-hmm. Like, don't have Halle Berry. Because she's not a good cat. First off, make it actually Catwoman. It shouldn't be in the HBO Max DC section. It has nothing to do with the character. Yeah. Is it a Tim Burton movie? Let me see. I, I have to see. Is this a Tim Burton movie? No, it's not a Tim Burton movie. I was wondering because Tim Burton uh, is known for, for making like those really like weird movies. Right. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what other Bane, freaking Bane. Bane could be really good. 
Oh man, can you imagine Bane with a Batman that kills? Right. Oh, that is so great. That'd be so amazing. Yeah. And we all want a Batman Beyond movie, which it looks like that's what they're trying to, to do. They're trying to, to, to set that up with Michael Keaton playing old Bruce Wayne. Mm-hmm. Which I will watch that. That looks um, that would be amazing because Batman Beyond was another one in the series where I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. And obviously a movie showing the death of Robin would be super dope. Well, we would have that in Justice League part. I think it's two, I think. Two or three. One of the Snyder sequels would be that. Yeah. But anyway, I digress. All right, so lad, I've I've um, ranted about enough. Are there any characters that you want to see? Uh, not really. I think you pretty much listed all of them. Yeah, I've, I pretty much just went through the entire DC encyclopedia. Flip, flip, flip. Yeah, you had it next to you, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Probably. All right, so yeah. is there any particular, like, like, uh, okay, so what part of the Snyder Cut do you want to be explored the most? Uh, In terms of which are you the most excited to see um, a- a- explored? Which one of those plot threads? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, maybe something with Batman. I'd like because uh, I don't know how much more Ben Affleck we're gonna get. Apparently, uh, according to rumors, he's interested in returning as long as Zack Snyder is directing. Really? Which I'm like, thank you, thank you so much. The best Batman of all time is just saying, I will come back. I will return. I will re- return. I'm back. <laughs> Batman, I'm bad. I'm bad. Ow. Oh, yeah. Throat. <laughs> I was presenting in class today, so my throat's a little sore. <laughs> <laughs> Were you doing the Batman voice? <laughs> no. I had the Snyder Cut background on Zoom the entire time, though. Nice. But, uh, by the way, three times people have DM'd me on Zoom going, it's just, uh, so did you see the movie yet? That's funny. And I'm like, yes, exactly. Let me see. I feel like they need to do more uh, more with Wonder Woman, but they are going to do a third movie and it's going to be in the modern time. Yeah, that's good. No more flashbacks because I'm like, please, that's getting kind of old. But how are we going to bring uh, Chris Pine back to life this time? Oh, man. Watch it be like she goes to Barry. Go save Steve Pine. Yeah. Chris Pine. But I really feel like they shouldn't have done another like Wonder Woman in the past movie. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's really. I get that they wanted to make it easier to separate it from the previous movies, but still. Yeah. It's really. Just, I'm just like, okay, come on, people, just do this for me, real quick. Just make it. Really easy to um, to to, uh, to to just make a modern Wonder Woman. We want it. Yeah. Which it's it's gonna be. So I'm like, all right, that, that's pretty dope. All right, so let's see. Uh, how about we already had? Maybe they could have a few of the Kryptonians return for from the Phantom Zone because the ship was just sent to the Phantom Zone. That, that's possible as well, I guess. Yeah. And that'd be cool because all those were under Zod's command, and now that he's dead, Superman could say, "I killed him." He came back, and then I killed him again. Man, brutal. Zod does not uh, it does not get a break. Nope, he does. Here's what not. I want: if they reboot this, a Superman Wonder Woman movie. Yeah. Make it, a, it even if they did a Superman, uh, uh, Wonder Woman, j- just like buddy cop movie, I think that'd be really cool because mm-hmm. they're fairly similar. Characters. But once again, I would love it if they actually did like like an adaptation of the power couple storyline, which we are going to cover on the podcast when we get, get back to covering storylines and um, and make that into a movie. That'd be dope, right. 
because we all know that lads does not really think Batman and Wonder Woman are a good match. No. Yeah, I do. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, man. <laughs> By lad, I really feel like I hope they bring the cheetah back. Because mm -hmm. they just left her there. Yeah. It's like, and let me this way. I hope in Wonder Woman 3, they're not doing a BS wish thing. Like, watch her rediscover the stone. Yeah, that's like, true. It's like, hey, Chris Pine. Hey, look at this. <laughs> oh, here's what I want. I want a polka dot man movie right he's gonna be in suicide squad or meerkat man whatever that guy is in the movie that's licking a window uh, yeah that guy mm -hmm. here's another good snyder character that uh, a character i think could do on the snyder cuss is uh Vi um victor zaz Visker victor zaz. oh wait he, wait 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 uh, he, he's already technically in the Snyderverse. He was in a Birds of Prey. That's true. He was a dude with Black Mask. So I'm like, oh, okay. That makes sense. But uh, so let's see. I guess we'll ca call it an episode on that one. Hope you guys enjoyed our rants on the Snyderverse. And Warner Brothers, if for some reason you're listening to this podcast, please give us the last two movies. Please. Yep. That would be amazing. Yep, yep. Uh, let's let's get it. Let's put the hashtags out there. Use the old ways and everything. Use it. Summon the Armata. We yep. shall use the old ways. <laughs> yep. We already have D a Dark Side's approval. He wants his Eidiverse and our Lord Dark Side. Uh, anything he says goes. Yep. All right, everyone. Hope you guys had a good, uh, enjoyed this ranty episode. Hope you guys uh, keep tweeting, keep tweeting to, to restore the Snyderverse and uh, fo follow us on uh, Instagram at under two case podcast. Follow us on YouTube uh, on, on um, comics league networks, like comment, subscribe and uh, drop in the comments who you guys would love to see in the Snyderverse, which character, if you guys ever, um, if they green light the return of the Snyderverse. Yeah, give us your remember, top five. Yeah, you, you, yeah, your top five. And yes, next week we will talk a little bit more about Falcon and Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. All right. Ho hope you guys enjoyed uh, this. Uh, I already said this. All right. So uh, stay heroic, everyone. See ya. See ya.